The Lübeck martyrs were three Roman Catholic priests, Johannes Prasik, Eduard Müller and Hermann Lang, and the evangelical Lutheran pastor Karl Friedrich Stelbrink. All four were executed by beheading on 10 November 1943 less than three minutes apart from each other at Hamburg. S. Holstenglases Prison, then called Untersuchungshaftanstalt Hamburg Stadt, in English, Investigative Custody Center of the City of Hamburg. Eyewitnesses reported that the blood of the four clergymen literally ran together on the guillotine and on the floor. This impressed contemporaries as a symbol of the ecumenical character of the men's work and witness. That interpretation is supported by their last letters from prison, and statements they themselves made during their time of suffering, torture and imprisonment. We are like brothers," Hermann Lang said. History the Catholic priests worked at the Herz Jesu Kirch, Sacred Heart Church in the center of Lübeck, Prasik as a chaplain, Müller as assistant minister and Lang as vicar. Stelbrink was pastor of the city's Lutherkirch Luther Church. The four had been close friends since 1941, exchanging information and ideas, and sharing sermons, including those of Clemens August Graf von Galen, Catholic Bishop of Münster. In his Palm Sunday sermon, 29 March 1942, Stelbrink said, in the misery of our home city we hear God's voice," quoted from Stelbrink's statement given during interrogation 9 April 1942 which some had interpreted then as Stelbrink meaning God's judgment upon the city was expressed in the effects of a British air raid on Lübeck the previous night. More than 300 people had been killed, the worst civilian casualties in an Allied bombing raid up to that time in the war. Stelbrink was arrested on the 7th of April 1942, followed by Prasik on the 18th of May, Lang on the 15th of June, and Muller on the 22nd of June. In addition to the clerics, a further 18 Catholic lay people were arrested, including Stefan Fertner, who later became a moral theologian. A year later, between 22 and 23 June 1943, the trial of the four men took place before the Second Chamber of the People's Court, with Wilhelm Krohn presiding. He had journeyed to Lübeck specifically for the trial. Following Joseph Goebel's directive that the People's Court's judges must base their decisions less on law and more on the basic idea that the law breakers be removed from the national community. The clerics were sentenced to death for broadcasting crime, specifically, listening to enemy broadcasts, treasonable support for the enemy, and demoralization of the armed forces. Some of their co accused lay brethren received long prison sentences. The trial became known as the Lubeck Christians Trial, an indication of the anti Christian bias of proceedings. The clerics were immediately transferred to Hamburg. S. Holstenglases Prison, which had become the regional center for executions in 1936 and had added an execution building with permanently mounted guillotine in 1938. The Catholic bishop under whose care the Catholic priests fell, Wilhelm Berning, Diocese of Osnabrück visited the priests in prison and wrote a plea for clemency, which was rejected. Pastor Stelbrink received no support from his province. S. Church authorities, and prior to his execution was ejected from holy orders because of his conviction. The four clerics were guillotined on 10 November 1943. Carl Friedrich Stelbrink the 28th of October 1894 to the 10th of November 1943. Son of a customs official, Karl Friedrich Stelbrink served in the First World War until he was medically discharged in 1917 with a crippling wound to his hand. After completing his Lutheran theology studies, he was ordained in 1921 to the Evangelical Church of Prussia's older provinces. In the early days of the Nazi regime he was briefly caught up by the political movement and joined the party. He soon realized, however, the inhumanity and incompatibility with Christian teaching. He was called before a Nazi party investigative board when he refused to break off his friendships with Jews. He quit the party in 1937. After his death, Stelbrink 
S. Widow was billed for his court costs, imprisonment, and execution. Fifty years would pass before the North Elbian Evangelical Lutheran Church, successor of the Lübeck Lutheran Church body, would initiate court proceedings to clear Stelbrink's name and admit their shame at how this noble martyr had been treated. In November 1993, the German courts officially overturned the guilty verdict against him. Johannes Prasik, the 13th of August 1911 to the 10th of November 1943. Topic: Johannes Prasik was ordained to the Catholic priesthood in 1937. Father Prasik was assigned to Herz Jesu Church together with Eduard Müller and Hermann Lang. He openly warned soldiers and youth groups against antisemitism and protested the shooting of prisoners and Jews. Under German law at that time, such words were subject to the death penalty if reported to the Gestapo. Because of his sympathy for Polish workers who were forced laborers in the area, Father Prasik learned Polish so he could minister to them. Again, such ministry was illegal and could have led to his arrest, but the Gestapo never found out. <laughs> Eduard Müller the 20th of August 1911 to the 10th of November 1943. Topic. Eduard Müller grew up in a very poor family, and he first trained to become a joiner, prior to studying for the priesthood. Ordained as a Catholic priest in 1940, he served at the Herz Jesu Church. His youth group work and a discussion group he directed were very popular. Having experienced trade training himself probably gave him special rapport with young journeymen of the discussion group he led. Topic. Hermann Lang, the 16th of April 1912 to the 10th of November 1943. Topic: Hermann Lang was an intellectual preacher. He told young soldiers in discussions that participation in a war was strongly against the Christian faith. He wrote in a letter from prison on the 25th of July 1943 about the ecumenical consequences of the sufferings he and his fellow Catholics had shared with their Lutheran neighbors, even prior to the shared arrests and imprisonment. The common sufferings of the past few years have brought about a rapprochement of the two churches. The imprisonment of the Catholic and Protestant clergy is a symbol both of their joint suffering and of the rapprochement. Topic. Honours and beatification Topic. On the 60th anniversary of the executions, the Catholic Archbishop of Hamburg Werner Thyssen announced the start of the beatification process for the Lübeck martyrs. At the same time, Bishop Barbel Wartenberg Potter, Bishop for the Holstein Lübeck district of the North Elbe province of the Evangelical Lutheran Church, announced the setting up of an ecumenical campaign group to ensure a memorial for all four men. The beatification took place on 25 June 2011. The crypt of the Herz Jesu Kirch and the gallery of the Lutherkirch in Lübeck are dedicated to the memory of the four clerics. Literature Joseph Schaefer, ed. Wo sein Zugend Sturben East Sein Reich, Brief der Enthauptetten Lübecker Geiselichen und Bericht von Augenzugen. Hamburg 1946 in German, English meaning, where his witnesses die, there is his kingdom, letters of the beheaded Lübeck clerics and eyewitness reports. Els Pelk, der Lübecker Christenprosis 1943, Mainz 1961-1974 in German. English meaning, the 1943 trial of Lübeck Christians Ingeberg Klatt, Losch mir die Augenaus, Leben und Gewaltsamis Sturben der Wir Lübecker Geiselichen in der Zeit des Nationalsozialismus, eine Ausstellung im Kloster zu Lübeck vom 8. November 1993 bis zum 10. November 1994. In, Demokratische Geschichte, Jarbeck zur Arbeiterbewegung und Demokratie in Schleswig-Holstein 8 1993, S205-280 in German, English meaning, Close my eyes in death, the life and violent death of four Lübeck clerics during the National Socialist period. An exhibition in Lübeck's Bergkloster Church 8 November 1993-10 November 1994. 
In Democratic History, Annals of the Workers' Movement and Democracy in Schleswig-Holstein 8 pp 205–280 Martin Mers, Die Pfaffenaufs Schaffet, ein Lübecker Prosis vor 50 Jahren, Begleitheft zur Ausstellung Losch mir die Augenaus, Leben und Gewaltsamis Sturben der Wir Lübecker Geiselichen in der Zeit des Nationalsozialismus, Überarb. Manuscript einer Rundfunksendung im Rahmen der Rehi Religion und Gesellschaft M6. August 1993 im Dritten Programm des Norddeutschen Rundfunks, Lübeck 1993 in German, English meaning, Priests on the Scaffold, a Lübeck trial from 50 years ago. Guidebook to the exhibition, Close My Eyes in Death, The Life and Violent Death of Four Lübeck Clerics During the National Socialist Period. Edited manuscript of radio broadcast as part of the series Religion and Society, 6 August 1993, NDR Third Programme Zugen für Christus. Das Deutsche Martyrologium Day 20. Jarunderts, HRSG, von Helmut Mal im Auftrag der Deutschen Biskopskonferenz. BD, 1, Paderborn 1999. S. 249-257 in German, English meaning, Witnesses for Christ, a list of 20th-century German martyrs. Published by Helmut Mahl on behalf of the German Bishops' Conference. Volume 1 Paderborn, 1999, pp 249-257 Okumin im Widerstand. Der Lübecker Christenpros 1943, Lübeck 2001 in German, English meaning, The Church is Resisting Together, the 1943 Trial of Christians in Lübeck Peter Voswinkel, Natch 61 Jahren Komplett. Abschiedsbrief der Wir Lübecker Martyrer im Historischen Kontext. In, Zeitschrift des Vereins für Lübeckische Geschichte und Altertumskind 85 2005, S 279 to 330 in German, English meaning, the full story after 61 years, the final letters of the four Lübeck martyrs in their historical context. In Journal of the Lübeck Society for the Study of History and Antiquity, Volume 85 2005, pp 279 to 330, Isabella Spolavinak Prydet und Helmut Siepenkert Publishers, Okumin im Widerstand. Der Lübecker Christenprosis 1943, Lübeck 2006 in German, English meaning, The Church is Resisting Together, the 1943 Trial of Christians in Lübeck Peter Voswinkel, Gefürte Wedge. Die Lübecker Martyrer in Wart und Bild, Butzen und Berger, St. Ansgar Verlag, Hamburg 2010 in German, English meaning, he guided their paths, the Lübeck Martyrs in Word and Deed Sebastian von Mel, Hermann Lang, in, Hirschberg, published by Bund Neudeutschland, Catholic Youth Organization, KMFE. V. 09-2010, p. 572-577, in German. Topic references topic topic external links topic English language one English translation of speech about these martyrs given at San Egidio by Lutheran pastor Lübeck martyrs biographisch bibliographisches Kirchenlexikon BBKL in German German language Lübecker Martyrer .de official website of the Archdiocese of Hamburg in German English Spanish and Swedish Die Martyrer von Lübeck Hamo Schwilk in Die Welt 12 May 2010 in German